Good evening all. Uh, we've just come back from uh, whew, three days off. And uh, as you can see, it's night time, which is the right time. And we're heading on a pretty exciting journey because uh, I haven't been out here for a while and I'm looking forward to this trip. So it should be good. Um, if there's anything interesting to show you on the way down to the tunnel, I will show you, but uh, if not, I'll just keep it short and um, I'll uh, bring you up to speed in a bit. Keep watching to find out where we're going because um, it really is going to be a very, very good trip. I'm really looking forward to it. Catch you in a bit. Well, nothing to report on the way down apart from the M4 was closed uh, between Junction 15 and 14. So we had a bit of a diversion down to Marlborough, across to Hungerford and back up to join the M4 again. It probably cost me about 20 minutes, I reckon. Which, to be fair, I could have done with not losing because uh, time is precious the on this. About, take the fourth exit to M20. Time is precious on this first part of the run. I won't. I won't get there. So I'm going to need Ad Blue anyway. So I thought I'll call it. Yeah, get Ad Blue, get a coffee, and then at least that's that bit sorted. Uh, and then a uh, Saturday it'll be. Yeah, Saturday. Um, I'll. Top both up again at the services, which will get me down to our final destination. Do you notice how I'm? I keep. I'm. I'm. I've done pretty well, I think, so far, because I haven't let it slip where we're actually going. So I keep saying final destination and delivery points and all the rest of it, and uh, not letting it slip. I'm. I'm going to try and maintain that. So bear with me. Well, that was lucky for that chap alongside me. Uh, He'd, he'd come off the train, he'd had a problem with his truck earlier on today, not starting. And uh, he'd managed to get it started coming off the train, which At is the lucky for him. Take the second exit because I think to they charge you for everything they can. But uh, he was flat on the pumps there, couldn't move. And as luck would have it, I just got delivered before I, um, before I went home. For a couple of days uh, a brand new set of heavy duty jump leads so that's their first use first trip out and i and i've used them straight away anyway they, fired, the they fired him up take the third exit to so, uh, so that's good that were i think they're only about 20 23 quid or something off amazon six meter and they're heavy duty truck ones and i think they're about 23 quid so they've worked fine anyway We are in Sibet then, uh, and uh, I just noticed as I came over the brow of the hill, it looks fairly quiet, which is good. That could mean that we get a fairly quick turnaround, but it does depend on whether they want to open us up and check the goods or just check the seal. Sometimes it's just back on the bay and they check the seal, because uh, they're too lazy to come out and check it in the car park out here, and they don't like getting wet. Um, other times they check the seal and then get us to pull off the bay, open the doors and pull back onto the bay and they take goods off and samples and all sorts, it just depends what we've got on. So we shall see what they want. So we've just passed Charles de Gaulle Airport and taken the uh, first split of the ring road. Uh, we've 21 miles to go and an hour and five to do it in. So I'm hoping that we can do it. That's an average of 20 miles an hour, isn't it? Uh, so all being well, we should be able to get there uh, and get tipped and then that's what I needed to do for today over with 
then I can fit the brake in and just run my time out on a 10 hour drive and 15 hour spread over depending on what I've got left. Um, if I can get an hour down the road, that'll make it uh, a lot easier for tomorrow. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll be all right. Here we are then. Prepare to exit the motorway after 1.5 miles. The running to um, uh, Rungis. Let's just cancel them and then I can talk you through it. So this is the um, this is the last turning where you come off the A86. Move over then to the middle lane and follow the sign looking for Sogaris. Ignore all the Rungis signs. Ignore Rungis, ignore Rungis, ignore Rungis. It will get you in there, but it's not the best way or the quickest and easiest way. So keep following it. You can see the signs up above, look, Rungis. Keep following that, keep following that. Centre Routier, you would think, maybe would take you into Rungis, but it, but it does, but at the top end. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You can see the BP garage right up in the distance. You just see the green price uh, symbols. When you can see that clearly, that's when you want to come off. So we're keeping going. Rungis is on the signs above us. Sogaris is now on the sign above to our right. We can see the BP garage clearly. Check on the inside because cars come whizzing down there. And we come off at this one and up into the market. So we've just made it with 21 minutes to spare. We'll pay the fortune now to get in and deliver this one pallet. It'll be about 20 quid. Uh, then we'll have a break and then we'll run our time out. So, here we are in Rungus. Righty here, we got that one off quick time in uh, Rungis. Uh, probably only five Take minutes or so. On the right to eight nineteen, and then, then left, and then uh, pulled off the bay, had a break, and we've set off uh, south on the A6, which is a lovely road to drive on. Uh, I've twenty six minutes left now, and I'm one mile away from. Uh, my planned stop, uh, which is one I found on uh, truck flight, so um, it's got some good reviews. So I thought we'd uh, stop here. Be in the left lane. And it says uh, there's showers and uh, bar and restaurant and all that. So I'll have a bit of a kip this afternoon and uh, then go and use the facilities tonight. So I'll take you on the journey in. Right, that's us. Looks a decent spot. That'll do nicely. Uh, drop the air down on the back of the unit, which means I roll into bed rather than out. And uh, yeah, that'll do. Right, see you in a bit. Well, sports fans, <coughs> sadly, there's been a bit of a change and uh, we're not going to be stopping here overnight and travelling down tomorrow. Uh, there's the restaurant and everything over there. As I say, sadly, I won't be able to use it. Uh, there's been a change of plan and once I've had my time off, which is in about 10 minutes' time, uh, we've got to head through to our destination, our first destination uh, tonight because they want the lands earlier. So we've just done the uh, lights and uh, 
gonna have a look at them while I talk to you guys. Um, it's a shame, really, because the uh, the destination uh, would have seen us travelling along some spectacular scenery um, during the daylight hours which as you can imagine would have been spot on um, we'll probably be able to do it on the way back up anyway so no great shakes uh, but it would have been nice to show you um, and it's made what would have been a nice steady trip tomorrow um, a real push and a slog tonight now but anyway it's all part and parcel of the job spot on facilities here look at it loads of room bags of room to park good restaurant showers and everything over there so yeah i'll i'll show you what we can on the way down anyway and um certainly on the way back we'll have we'll have a, a lot better um views but anyway thanks for watching stop with us well i'm guessing most of you will uh will have got it by now particularly from the view you're now looking at uh, well done to those of you that guessed correctly we are actually going up and over or under <laughs> Mont Blanc um, into Italy we've got uh, about four or five drops uh, we were going to be do we were going to be traveling down here tomorrow during the day ready to tip Turin first thing Sunday morning today is Friday night stroke Saturday morning uh, and then after Turin we were going across to Milan to tip another one on Sunday sort of mid-morning anyway Milan have asked if we can get their stuff there tomorrow morning hence the change of plan so I've had to travel through the night tonight and get the, the plan is to get to Milan first thing in the morning and tip that uh, I'll probably be out of time there and then back onto the original schedule which is tipping Turin on Sunday morning yeah that's right Sunday morning yeah um, and then a couple more further down south down near San Marino so um, it, the, the plan as I say the plan was to show you um, coming up Mont Blanc in the daylight <laughs> and uh, all the views and the run through the Aosta Valley the other side is I mean the French side is nice but the Aosta Valley side on the Italian side rather is absolutely stunning it's beautiful from top to bottom and the, and and it's just a joy to drive you drop down the mountain drop onto the flat set the cruise control just sit there taking in the views and looking at the stuff it's it's just lovely it's, it's, it's really good um so we've just been through the control at the bottom of the um Mont Blanc tunnel uh, where we pick up a little uh, chit that the fella gives us that we hand in at the top to say that we've been through the control um, and I've heard that if you don't pick it up they are likely to send you back down uh, to pick one up so make sure you do um, however there's a fridge just gone hammering past me um, and he certainly didn't stop and pick one up. So, I don't know if he's got a <laughs> few spares or what, but uh, that's that's his business. Um, when we get to the top of the, the tunnel, you, you, uh, the entrance to the tunnel rather, you can't miss it, you've, you've to keep right. Um, and you go through a heat detector and then as soon as we've gone through the heat detector normal normally trucks can go straight forward to the toll booth pay and go through uh, because i've got a fridge trailer on i have to pull off to the right 
and I'd park there and wait for an escort but I'll show you that when we get up there anyway so you can see exactly what goes on uh, otherwise sit back enjoy the darkness <laughs> I would say enjoy the view but you're not seeing much of it I do apologize uh, we will be coming we will be coming back in the daylight so um, I can show you coming back up here at Aosta Valley hopefully from the other side uh, there was depending on where we reload from will will depend which day we're coming back and there was nighttime closures on I think it was Monday or Tuesday Monday and Tuesday uh, which I'm not likely to be coming back well I'm certainly not going to be coming back on Monday uh, it could be Tuesday but um, if not we'll go through the free just and I'll I'll show you that as well so yeah sorry about traveling in the dark but one of them things it's the job bear with us and uh, I'll show you anything interesting on the way I'm concentrating a bit because it's um, if I put power down too much it spins up a bit um, yeah so <laughs> so you get to the top uh, and you'll see the scanner on the right hand side um, you can't miss it you go through that and that um, it's a it's a heat detector after the uh, fire that they had in the tunnel uh, some time ago yeah, we've got some blue lights there there will eventually come and pick us up uh, we'll go up to the toll booth pay and we can go through so for now just sit tight Right, there we are, that's us through the tunnel and on the other side we're now in Italia the, um, the heat scanner was op open this side so um, 
I'm not sure what's happened to the one the French side, maybe it's broken or been taken away for repair, I don't know. Good morning one and all. The sun's trying to break out break through over the mountains over there, look. Um so we came down the Aosta Valley in the dark and uh as we uh, approached the bottom end of the valley, we needed to take a motorway, uh, let me think, west, uh, east towards Milan. Um, and I would have just made my delivery point in the second four and a half hour shift. However, the road we wanted is closed to trucks, buses, vehicles over three and a half tons. So we had to take a diversion, which added about 20, 25 minutes, um, thereby forcing me to take a break. Uh, but anyway, luckily I, I had a 10 hour drive left, otherwise, not there. Um, but I'm 24 miles away now. Uh, Him, or I'd message him rather uh, and said I'll be about three quarters of an hour late which he's fine with so um, that's where we're at apparently this drop is famous for a tree that is right in the way of where you want to be <laughs> and it's been there that long Arriving at that they can't do anything key, about it right. so you have to work round the tree but we are here. I said 7.45 and it's 7.39. So you have to go the wrong side of the tree. And then swing in through the gate. which is a bit annoying. Because I was hoping they wouldn't be too busy. Anyway, we're here. That's us tipped. Quick time there. Uh, five pallets off and checked. Job done. Um, I've broken into a 10 hour drive and I've got 35 minutes left. Um, now I know I passed a couple of services At on the, the way in. Take the first exit. And I don't need anything. I'm only um, I'm only sleeping and uh, having something to eat today. So uh, I'm going to drop back onto the motorway and utilise this 10-hour drive to the to the full. Um, just run my time out and uh, get parked up at the services there was a couple of services like I say one of them I stopped at um, because I couldn't quite make it here in my time uh, so yeah we'll just uh, we'll just run back there and then I'm um, currently I'm 93 miles so if I can get that from my next drop for tomorrow morning uh, that's booked in at 6 a.m. so if I can box uh, at the roundabout, 20 take miles the first off, exit to uh, I'll be like an hour and a half away, so I'll probably book on about four, do my daily checks, set off quarter past four, and um, should be there for them at six o'clock. Uh, that's the only one, currently, that's the only one to do tomorrow, but you never know, I may get a call saying some of the others want theirs or whatever. Um, so the plan would be to get that off in Turin and drop At down the roundabout, to the, the others which are down near uh, San Marino. Well, maybe by stopped here because there may not be any space up there. So what I'm going to do is nip up and see if there is any space and then I can park properly. Bear with. Well, as I suspected, all the spaces are full, um, but there's room along the back of them, and 
and uh, it's probably going to be quieter than back in there. And the good thing is, I am leaving tomorrow anyway, so uh, there shouldn't be any problems. to this spot here. We're not booked in till tomorrow morning. In a quarter of a mile, keep right on Busseto. They may do us proud and tip it today. If it does, I'm just working out, it's probably going to save me about 
four hours by the time I've um, got it off in the morning and travelled to where I want to be. So if I can get it off, it'll be a real bonus. But I don't know until we get there. So just bear with. Keep right or Busetto. Lights don't seem to be working and the barriers are up. So we'll get off. Restaurant, and if not, there's um, a big shopping centre, like I say, and there's parking down one of the side roads for that. So I've got somewhere in mind either way. Well, old matey boy came across uh, from the security lodge and uh, had a quick word. Um, there was nobody there. It didn't look like there was. Fair play. Uh, nothing he could do, he said, so come back in the morning. He said there's um, there's truck parking directly opposite on the roundabout, but there was nothing there. And uh, I'd seen a truck parked in a lay-by. You, you can't see it. Just, uh, just the other side where that coach is. Sorry, there. I'd seen a truck parked up. Um, I think it's on Google Earth or something. So I thought I'd head down here uh, and get parked up because there's a massive retail park all over there. Look. So there's shops, bars, restaurants. I'm sure I'm going to be able to fill the afternoon in there. Uh, they look to be a good restaurant bar on the way in as well. So I'll have a look at that. Uh, well, I'll have a look at it this afternoon and then probably go to that tonight. But it's lovely now. Really warming up. Uh, 127 miles to my next drop got that program in the sat nav ready so i'll be up by that one for uh, tipping six o'clock in the morning um and then down to me uh what have i got to do i've got four to do tomorrow the one i'm at now one that's 127 mile away and then two uh, a bit further down so and then hopefully probably get washed out tomorrow afternoon ready to reload uh what day is tomorrow <laughs> Tomorrow's Monday, so I'll probably be reloading Tuesday. So, hope you're having a good weekend. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you later. Morning, race fans. <clears throat> That's us just leaving our parking spot uh, by the uh, Fidenza village. Um, they had buses coming down from uh, Milan running express tours just to the village so it must be a popular sort of tourist attraction type thingy um we've done our daily checks we're i don't know five five minutes away i would think from uh, the drop point where i went yesterday so we're just nipping there In there for six. I would think they'd open earlier than that. Went across to those bars there yesterday. Had a drink and a bite to eat. Very, very nice. Uh, gonna get this one off and then I think it's about 120 miles or so to the one after that. So probably two and a half hours. Hopefully we'll get a Good tip here because we're only as you can see this is the, the motorway so we're only two minutes off that once we are tipped uh, it's a straight line down to our next one which is again just off the motorway so that'll be good and then just give us the last two for 
for uh, the afternoon. But we'll see how we go on here first. Well, that's uh, not the start we were wanting for the day. Um, pathetic, really. Two hours for two pallets at a massive, massive transport company. So, uh, I was due at my next one at nine o'clock local um, and it's gonna be about half ten so uh, they've lost me an hour and a half there the last one of the days booked in at 5 p.m. so I hope that's not their uh, closing time I doubt it will be they wouldn't book me in at the very last minute surely but you never know Anyway, we're heading south, past uh, Modena, or Modena, the home of Ferrari, um, to a place called Cecina. Here we are then, uh, just to catch up, um, we're making our way around Bologna, as you can see. From the other side, the traffic's pretty chaotic going north. It's busy this side, but uh, but not too bad. We're making pretty good progress. Uh, we should still be on time for 10.30 at the next drop, which is good. That's what I told them. So, uh, I'll need to update them. Hopefully we'll get a good tip there and I can catch up a bit of time. Okay, made it to the next one. Uh, bang on 10.30, which is what I said it I'd be. So, uh, all good there. Um, I just got to wait for ramp one or two opposite me there, you can see, to come clear. And as soon as they do, I put my notes in the back of the trailer, back onto the bay, and they'll take off what they want, what they need, and uh, sign the notes and put them back in and then I can pull off and go down to my next one. Seven pallets off there. Um, and I've 250 odd miles down to my next drop, which is, call it five hours plus a break, it's at least six hours. So I've given them an ETA, uh, and they've said they're gonna be shut. So uh, at the minute, we're aiming for six o'clock in the morning. Good afternoon all, uh, 150 miles to go so I'm looking for somewhere to uh, pull up and have a break now but I just thought I'd show you this truck in front, um, it's crabbing badly down the road but I don't know if the offside wheel, it doesn't look loose because it's not wobbling but I, I don't know if the tyre's flat or what but uh, yeah if you can, if you can see it there proper at an angle going down the road. <laughs> Fabulous building up on top of that uh, hilltop there, look. Uh, so we've just stopped for a shower and uh, coffee and a bite to eat at the services. I've got 134 miles to go. So, two, they're just short of three hours should do it and it's uh, two o'clock UK three o'clock local um, so they're not going to be open by the time I get there uh, but I have found somewhere to park that's just about nine ten miles away so I'll be close enough for the morning uh, my colleague Captain Slow who's done this delivery many times assures me that I can park where I'm thinking of parking but there is no bar or restaurant as is shown on Google Maps so he's actually thrown down the gauntlet and said that in all the years he's been doing it he's never managed to find it so my uh, mission for the day is to get parked up get a beer get a picture and send it to Captain Slow 
who, if you're not already following him, please go and give him a follow. And also, uh, Trotyjenko, another one of the uh, Broughton's crew. So yeah, we're just going to uh, trundle along and uh, get there nice and steady for this afternoon, ready for tomorrow morning. Well, we're right out in the sticks. Oh, blow my neck. Bad road this. We're right out in the sticks, as you can see, and uh, there's an industrial estate down here where uh, I've been told I can park up and looking on Google Maps it looks like there's a couple of places to pull in and I'll be gone early in the morning so I shouldn't be in anybody's way. Um, sadly going up to this place I've got to be there for six o'clock so I'm likely to be running up in the dark and it's supposed to be really spectacular scenery and hairpins and all the rest of it. Um, but I, I guess by the time I'm tipped and coming out back down um, it should be uh, it should be oh look my neck bumping the road there uh, it should at be light enough about, take the second exit for you to see what I'll have seen well as I anticipated it was dark all the way up here this morning uh, and and some of the some of the roads you're thinking oh my god I've gone wrong here but uh, when you get here wow what a place it is a, it is stunning it's beautiful uh, you're right up in the hills, but um, you'll see <laughs> when we go back down this road. I'll uh, I'll film it as best I can. I can't be in there. Try and let him go. It's going the other way anyway. So yeah, just got the one more to do uh, today. We're going to make our way back to the motorway now, um, but I'll stick this on um, on record and show you the journey back down it's, it's brilliant Well, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed it. We're back into the village of uh, Capo, Capo Seneto, I think it's called. Uh, yeah, we've been right up down into the bottom of the valley, across the bridge, and up the other side. Spettacolo! Good morning, all. Uh, We've got the first one off, as you will have seen, and we're um, up on the Autostrada again, heading north to our last drop. We're uh, 30 miles off, so it should be about uh, 45, 50 minutes. And um, once we get that tipped, we'll give the trailer a quick swill out. I think I can do it there. My colleague seems to think that we can. So I'll give it a quick swill out. Um, it's had plastic down on the floor this time, so uh, there's not a lot of mess. And I'm loading plants, um, so it'll need uh, swelling out after that anyway, because there'll be a load of dirt all over the floor. Uh, not, not dirt, earth. Um, but they won't be as bothered about the uh, internals of the trailer as food product uh, company would be if I was loading food or something. Um, that's not due to load <coughs> until uh, the first The first one is tomorrow morning, due to load tomorrow morning, and then the second part of it, which is only 10 minutes away, uh, looking on Google Maps, is due to load, tomorrow being Wednesday, is due to load on Thursday morning. Uh, and I have to get a uh, 24 hour off from tonight anyway so what my plan is is to 
run up to the first one um, hopefully get that on uh, and if not then park the truck there I'm sorry I'm just making sure I'm alright to there um, park the truck there and have a 24 hour off and just leave it for them to load which they can do without me being there because it's it's a long job the last time I loaded plants was like three hours per drop so um, if they've got a big enough yard I'll uh, I'll park there as I say leave it for them to load I can have me time off and then start uh, that'll be what that'll be uh, oh, I can't even think today will be Tuesday afternoon so I could start again then Wednesday afternoon um, I'll check if the Thursday morning one is then ready to load um, and if it is we can get that on and get in front of ourselves for a bit but we'll have to see how we go on when we get there it may all turn to rat poo when they say oh no this stuff's not ready until tomorrow anyway so we'll see anyway right big celebration that's the last one off Woohoo! <laughs> big thanks to the fellas again for uh, insight and directions getting me in here <coughs> because <coughs> oh, excuse me <coughs> as you will see when we get down to the bottom here the road that you would kind of like to come in on off to the left uh, has a slight restriction on it not this one bear with bear with bear with bear with let's take this sign out uh, yeah this one off to the left here has a slight restriction on it Three meters! <laughs> so you can't go that way. Luckily, the fellas give me some insight. Shame you can't go that way because that, that'd be really quick. Uh, yeah, the fellas give me some insight and uh, said, what past the hospital and turn to the left and blah, blah, blah. So that's what we did. It's another one of them where you think you've, you've probably gone wrong. Uh, but haven't so we're going to go back out the same way back out to the autostrada and head up to our collections for tomorrow morning and see what the score is hopefully as i say we can wangle it to get something on and parked up and have a 24 in between and this that and the other so anyway there is see what happens. Light when we get the there uh, it's not due to load till 10 a.m tomorrow morning rather and it's probably a two hour load. So I'm gonna get there about midday. Pull out a bit. Uh, I'm gonna get there about midday, which if they've got space and they let me park up, that'll do fine. That means I can uh, go to the beach In this afternoon, mile, which is just down the road. The and um, they can load it in the morning and by the time they've finished, I will have had 24 anyway, because I've no need to be there for the loading or anything. Um, but I'm not going to know till I get there, so it's all theoretical. Anyway, as I say, it looks like you're going the wrong way, coming down these narrow little uh, off-beaten tracks. But you are aye, actually going the right way. Anyway, let's head north.